One of the most interesting and unusual exorcisms that I was ever called upon to perform concerned a young man who had been an usher on the staff of the Odeon Cinema in Bristol and had been so frightened by something that he believed was haunting the cinema that he'd given up his job. The manager was a very caring and sensitive employer and was prepared to take the young man back in with an exorcist to see if we could get rid of whatever had been frightening him. I took with me a friend of mine who was a medium, sadly now passed away, but her name was Bremner Howells. And she was a, a very gifted medium, also a highly intelligent lady. She'd been a practicing midwife and she also had a law degree. So she was the kind of medium who would be very rational and sensible about anything that she saw. When we went into the cinema, she said immediately, there's something strange and evil in this place. And the young man who had given up his job because of it led us to a corridor where he felt that evil presence at its maximum. Suddenly, he clasped his stomach, slithered down the wall with his back to the wall, ended up in a heap on the floor, calling out that something was attacking him and he got terrible pain in the stomach. Bremner could see them, told me that she could see them, and described them as being like psychic piranha fish. And she said they were all over him. So, as an exorcist does on these occasions, I sprinkled holy water in the direction where she was indicating these evil presences were. And she then said, I uh, said the prayer of exorcism as well. Bremner said, they're terrified of the holy water and they're streaking away down the corridor. The young man then got up, looked so surprised and said, Father, it, it stopped hurting. They, they, they've gone. They're not attacking me now. And the only thing I noticed was that when he had been under attack, as he reported, there was a smell of death and decay. It's a, a unique and very unpleasant odour. And after Bremner said that they'd gone in terror from the holy water, the smell changed. And just for a moment, it was like a refreshing pine disinfectant when you're uh, cleaning an air conditioning system. And when we investigated the history of the place, apparently in 1944 or 1945, the cinema manager had been murdered and the case remained as an unsolved mystery. And sometimes there will be a major tragedy or crime of that kind associated with subsequent hauntings. But that was the exorcism in the Bristol Odeon, which was, I think, probably the strangest that I was ever called upon to conduct.